global supply chains face rising complexity and pressure from all angles. How can advanced traceability solutions give manufacturers the efficiency and visibility they need to stay competitive? This is Supply Chain Transformed, presented by DigiKey. Powered by OnSemi, Omron, and SupplyFrame. In this episode, we visit Omron's Proof of Concept Center in Detroit, Michigan, to discover how real-time data and process visibility can provide a clear picture of any production process. This is a place where customers can come see applications, hands-on, work with engineers to talk about their biggest challenges in automating their factories and how we can help them do that. 60% of the customers that come to this Proof of Concept Center are here for autonomous technology and or collaborative robots. The ability for us to control more data, to store more data, gives us the ability to know the end-to-end -end life of an entire product. Omron's suite of vision systems and verification products enable real-time visibility and quality control while cutting costs for a wide range of industries. As customers require more and more information rather than just part ID, it lends itself to being able to have full transparency into their operations. The imagers are getting much more complex so they can do more than just read part ID, right? There's a lot more data that people want now. This device I could actually use to read a barcode that's on a medical implant that's gonna be used in surgery, something that's in micro in size. So to be able to do that or to be able to go and scan an automotive part are very different things. This has happened to be actually an industrial camera and a lot of people now are using cameras instead of just specific barcode readers because we can put multi-functionality in these systems. These can be code readers or cameras. OCR is optical character recognition. So I can read to say, okay, that's got the proper labeling or even a serialization, a batch, a lot code. A step above that, we can go to read dot ping codes. We can read laser marks. We can read 1D and 2D barcodes. As cameras are improving, we can now look at more at the same time. So instead of having something look at one device or one box, we can now look at the case. I could read everything in the case at the same time. Or maybe I can look at all of the bottles in a case, or all the packages going into it, or all of the sub-packages going into a larger package. And then, of course, look at the larger package and look at the larger skid. We like to get creative with our customers in terms of how they deploy robots and how they implement them. We have a base product, but then that product by itself doesn't do a whole lot other than move around the floor. But then you have toppers. We can mount a collaborative robot on top of a mobile robot. We call that a mobile manipulator. The collaborative robots, this concept in semiconductor especially, in other industries, machine loading, machine tending, material transfer, anywhere where people are picking up parts, visually inspecting them for quality control, and then maybe placing them on a conveyor. One mobile robot could technically tend 20 carts. The most important piece is do you have a controller that can handle high-speed data, get that back to a database where you have some level of visualization to your process? There's really a change in the market on the direction, and that's very much tied to labor shortage and is very much tied to health and safety. As a leading distributor with over 50 years of experience maximizing visibility in their own supply chain, DigiKey partners with innovative suppliers like Omron to improve their operations and offer those same technologies to their customers. We've been impacting innovators for 50 plus years. Engineers appreciate the thoughtfulness that at one point went into our catalog. And as we've evolved into e-commerce, the thoughtfulness that went into you know, building our parametric search. You know, we really view that as a tool for engineers. If I'm gonna Google an Omron part number I can't find, even in our system, it's gonna come up on the web and it's probably gonna be DigiKey at the top of the list because they've done a really good job. We're in the part of the consumer world that nobody cares about how you make things, right? But at the end of the day, we all model companies like DigiKey because their specialty is getting things very quickly to customers. So we rely on companies like that as well as them being customers. So we wanna be able to enable them to achieve that because in the end it helps us. We use them as a model as well. We want to be as efficient as possible for our end customer. An engineer sees someone from DigiKey, they, they get all excited because they've never met someone from DigiKey. So we've been this company behind the scenes that's quietly helping drive innovation to engineers and builders everywhere. There is a major shift in traceability, quality control, in predicting potential recalls. And let's say you're a supplier that's putting an assembly together 
I'm getting materials from probably five different companies to build that part. And they're starting with traceability from the tier supplier. You have to merge them together, build an assembly, and track it all as one piece when it goes out the door. The best recall is the one that doesn't happen. It's the one where all the details are collected internally. We know what we've got the information. It doesn't ever leave a factory, it doesn't ever leave a plant. If it did, we can confine it down to just a couple of pieces, as opposed to hitting the mass recall on the news that everybody hears about. You know, we talk about open protocols and open architectures. And so if we don't support that, we'd be pretty hypocritical. I see the trend as being faster, better cameras, yes. But in the end it is, I can do the job easy and I can do it in less time with, with almost no difficulty in the implementation. We have a centralized distribution facility. That means there's gonna be less shipments going out from less locations. You know, at the end of the day, we wanna be able to provide products and technology and components to anyone in the world who, who needs it. Since we acquired the robotic company, it's been unbelievable how things have evolved. The topper solutions, the technology with 3D vision, factor the safety piece into that. And I think customers are paying attention to the fact that this could be a realistic solution for the future. A lack of visibility costs companies more than just time and money. It can cost productivity, customer trust, and market competitiveness. Technologies that enable visibility into the entire product lifecycle ensure resilience and efficiency for a supply chain transformed.